the Siege of Troy. Chapter 1. The Prelude to the Siege of Troy. Our journey transports us to the mythical world of ancient Greece, a world where gods and heroes walked among mortals. Here, amidst the cradle of Western civilization, the legendary Siege of Troy took shape, a tale of love, conflict, and epic warfare. The story begins with the beautiful Helen of Sparta, whose elopement with Prince Paris of Troy ignited a feud between the Greeks and Trojans. This feud would ultimately lead to one of the most famous sieges in history. Chapter 2. The Gathering Storm As we delve deeper into the narrative, we witness the gathering storm of conflict. Imagine the grand armada of Greek ships, led by the indomitable king Agamemnon, sailing across the Aegean Sea. These ships, filled with legendary heroes such as Achilles, Ajax, and Odysseus, were destined for the shores of Troy. At the heart of the Greek expedition was the abduction of Helen, which served as a rallying cry for vengeance. The Greeks believed that the only way to reclaim their honor and secure Helen's return was to besiege the impregnable walls of Troy. Chapter 3. The Walls of Troy To understand the magnitude of the Siege of Troy, we must explore the city itself. Envision the majestic walls of Troy, said to be impenetrable. These towering fortifications, built to withstand any assault, encircled the city and posed a formidable challenge to the Greek invaders. The Trojans, led by the brave Prince Hector and guided by the wisdom of King Priam, hunkered down behind their mighty walls, ready to defend their homeland at any cost. Chapter 4. The Decade-Long Conflict The Siege of Troy was not a brief affair, but an epic struggle that spanned a decade. Picture the Greek camp filled with heroes and warriors eager to prove their mettle. Yet, they faced numerous hardships, including the wrath of the gods themselves. The turning point came when Achilles, the greatest of Greek warriors, withdrew from battle in a fit of rage. This allowed Prince Hector to reclaim the upper hand, and the Trojans seemed poised for victory. Chapter 5. The Wooden Horse As the siege dragged on, the Greeks devised a cunning plan, a wooden horse. Imagine the construction of this massive wooden structure hollowed out to conceal a select group of Greek warriors. The horse was left as an ostensible offering to the gods, a gesture of resignation. The Trojans, believing the Greeks had abandoned their siege, hauled the colossal horse into their city as a symbol of victory. Little did they know that, within its wooden belly, Greek heroes lay in wait. Chapter 6 the Fall of Troy. The Fall of Troy came in the dead of night, as the Greek warriors concealed within the wooden horse emerged and opened the city gates for their comrades. Imagine the chaos that erupted as the Greeks stormed the unsuspecting city. Troy, once thought to be impregnable, fell to the cunning of the Greeks. The city burned, and its people faced the horrors of war. The Trojan War, which had raged for ten long years, had reached its devastating climax. Chapter 7. The Aftermath As we reflect on the Siege of Troy, we must also consider its aftermath. The Greek heroes paid a heavy price for their victory. Achilles, the mightiest of them all, perished in battle, and the city of Troy lay in ruins. But the legacy of the Trojan War lived on. It became the stuff of legends and inspired countless tales, including the epic poems of Homer, the Iliad and the Odyssey, 
The lessons of heroism, tragedy, and the fickle nature of fate continued to resonate through the ages. Chapter 8 Conclusion The Siege of Troy remains an enduring symbol of human ambition, conflict, and the indomitable spirit of heroes. It serves as a reminder that even the mightiest of cities can fall, and the consequences of war are profound. But beyond the legends and the myths, the Siege of Troy stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. It reminds us that the stories we tell, whether of love, heroism, or tragedy, have the capacity to transcend time and culture, weaving themselves into the fabric of human history. Additional Facts The Trojan War, while often considered a myth, is believed to have had some basis in historical events, though the exact details remain a subject of debate among historians. The story of the Trojan horse is one of the most famous episodes of the war and has become a symbol of deception and subterfuge. The character of Achilles, with his invulnerability save for his heel, has left an enduring mark on Western literature and language, giving rise to the term Achilles' heel. The fall of Troy is also depicted in Virgil's Roman epic, the Aeneid, where the Trojan hero Aeneas plays a central role in the founding of Rome. The Siege of Troy has been a source of inspiration for countless works of art, literature, and music throughout history, including operas, paintings, and novels. The story of the Trojan War continues to captivate modern audiences, with various adaptations and retellings in film and television, such as the 2004 movie Troy, starring Brad Pitt as Achilles. Archaeological excavations at the site of Troy in modern-day Turkey have revealed multiple layers of ancient settlements, supporting the idea that the city may have been the backdrop for a series of conflicts. The Trojan War is considered one of the defining events of Greek mythology and has left an indelible mark on Western culture, influencing everything from literature to philosophy. Join us next time where we dive into Greek mercenaries.